Welcome to Big Z Sports and Claxon Communication Play-by-Play Action. Be sure to subscribe to Big Z Sports on YouTube, follow Big Z Sports on Facebook, on Twitter, at Big underscore Z Sports. For the best coverage of high school sports, there's only one Big Z Sports. It is the second rendition of the Connaughton Valley Classic from Bowerston, and Big Z Sports is back with wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the opening game tonight as the Connaughton Valley Rockets are hosting the Bellsville Blue Devils. Good morning, everybody, which I'll be joined by Shannon Thomas and the Claxon Communications crew for today's broadcast. Weird, Shannon, to say good morning to start a basketball game. Yeah, and it's a beautiful not quite morning anymore, but you know what I mean. And it's a beautiful morning out for people who like that white stuff because sitting here at the Rocket Center with all these windows around us, it's mm -hmm. a it's a winter wonderland out there. It is rather a nice backdrop actually for this Canton Valley Classic. This is the same game that opened things up last year, and they are going to run it back. Canton Valley edged out Bellsville in a close one last year. We're going to see how this uh, contest will shake out this time around. Of course, you know this Canton Valley Classic. Kind of inspired by the memory of Braylon Novak, the late student from Connaughton Valley. And, you know, they're raising money for scholarships again. In their first time they did this, Shannon, they were able to give away four $1,000 scholarships to Connaughton Valley students in Braylon's memory. Awesome, awesome stuff. We love to be here a part of this tournament and bringing it to everybody. Yeah, you know, we get the invite to come out here, and it, the community is doing a great thing in remembering a young man that went to school here and benefiting kids to go on with their education or their trade schools, whatever you want to do. It's, an, it, it's a great event that the community has put on out here. It certainly is. We're going to go ahead and take our first time out because we're not too far from opening tip for this afternoon. We're going to start things off by talking to the Bellsville Blue Devils and their head coach in Mike Snow. You're listening to the Wood Electric pregame show. I should say watching the Wood Electric pregame show from the PAC Drilling Mobile Studio. We'll return after this. Are you neglecting your building's fifth wall? Did you know something as simple as a clogged drain can lead to a destructive roof leak? Protect your business assets with WM Commercial Roofing's Umbrella Care Program. This program will provide you with regular maintenance surveys and repairs to extend the life of your roof. Invest in your business with our top quality materials, advanced techniques, and skilled craftsmanship. Are you ready for a reliable partnership? Visit our website, wmcommercialroofing.com, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram to learn more. Novellus Eurexville is the world leader in aluminum recycling, and they need you. They have immediate openings for general laborers, equipment operators, and various skilled trade positions. They'll start you at $22 per hour or higher. There are advancement opportunities, and Novellus offers industry-leading benefits. To apply or find out more, go to novellus.com slash careers and search Eurexville. That's novellus.com slash careers and search Eurexville. Novellus is an equal opportunity employer. Hi, I'm Zach Motice with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. Or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in downtown New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, or in Strasburg, providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes and teams good luck this winter. Welcome back into the Wood Electric pregame show. Big Z Sports live from Bowerston. We're bringing you the Connaughton Valley Classic into its second year, opening things up at the Bellsville Blue Devils versus the Connaughton Valley Rockets. We'll go down along the sideline with the coach. Our segment brought to you by Kime. It's head coach Mike Snell for the Bellsville Blue Devils. Coach, coming in here, second year you guys are coming back for this Connaughton Valley tournament. So for anyone watching, this uh, this matchup probably looks familiar. You guys remember taking on Connaughton Valley last year. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think we might have been the first game in this building last year. I mean, it's a beautiful building, what a, and they run a really nice uh, classic, and the game turned out to be a pretty good game as well. We had played the night before, and uh, we're a little worried about how our kids would respond, you know, being an early morning bus ride up here, but it came down to a last shot, and I think we missed a shot in the short corner and lost by one, I believe. 
I do know, yeah, it was definitely a very, very close game. Uh, just looking at your roster up and down, a little bit different, some changes from last year uh, for you guys. So uh, tell me a bit about the season to this point. You know, you're facing a Connaughton Valley team that's still winless. Uh, just tell me what how the year's gone for the Blue Devils. Well, we were winless until last night. Uh, we finally got our first win, and uh, we're very young. Uh, we started five freshmen last night. We've only got seven on the roster, and most of the year we've only been dressing six at games for one reason or another. So it should be a pretty good matchup today. Uh, tell me a little bit, too, about the travel. We know it's a little bit of a distance for you guys to get here. The snow and stuff, and we're post-Christmas and New Year's, so sometimes it's hard to keep kids uh, really motivated for the game of basketball. But how has the team really been uh, preparing? Well, I think they're, they're pretty excited, you know, to get their first win last night. And so I hope they slept well, but they slept a good bit on the bus <laughs> ride out here this morning. Uh, but the roads really weren't that bad. And, I mean, personally to me, it's not that really that long of a trip, so I think we'll be fine. Now, looking at the Rockets across the court, again, having met them last season, they got a lot of the players that contributed last year back again, so what do you expect out of Connaughton Valley? Well, we expect a battle. Um, I haven't got to watch much film on them, uh, but, uh, you know, this is this is their classic. This is their home floor, and, and uh, they're going to want to defend it, so, you know, we're anticipating a pretty good game. Absolutely, Coach. Well, thank you so much for your time, and good luck to the Blue Devils. Thank you. Appreciate it. Head Coach Mike Snell for Bellsville, and stick around because our segments with the coach are going to continue, brought to you by Kime. We're going to have Head Coach Jeremy 80 for Connaughton Valley coming up after this. Altman is here for you, in your community, because you matter. We're proud to be the area's first and only independent health system. We are one team, joined together, and committed to one mission – to lead our community to improved health. And we've always been here, dedicated to providing you with the very best in care, wellness, education, insurance, and more. For your community and for your family, Altman is always here for you. TMK Valley Propane is embracing remote tank monitors. Are you tired of going outside to check your propane tank or forget to order your propane on time? TMK Valley Propane now provides reliable remote tank monitoring technology. Let TMK Valley Propane take the worry away, provide timely delivery, and never run out of propane again. Thank you for your trust in TMK Valley Propane. All the way with TMK, service with a personal touch. Hi, this is Jan McInturf. For the past 30 years, the residents in and around Tuscarawas County have made the call to the realtors and staff at McInturf Realty for buying and selling of residential and commercial properties. We truly live in a great community, and in all those communities, there's nothing better than high school basketball. For myself and all the agents and staff at McInturf Realty, we would like to wish all the area athletes good luck this season. And make the call to McInturf Realty at 330-364-SOLD or find us online at McInturfRealty.net. Welcome back into the Connaughton Valley Classic from Bowerston. Big Z Sports bringing you high school basketball today on our YouTube live stream. It is the Wood Electric pregame show, and we are going along courtside with the coach brought to you by Kime. So we're going to be talking now with Connaughton Valley head coach and Jeremy Aidey. And coach, tell me first and foremost, uh, it's been a little while since we've seen you guys. Last time we were here when you guys took on TCC. I know you've had some battles so far this season, uh, but you guys, have, there's been no quit in this Rockets team at any point, it doesn't seem like. Yeah, our kids have giving forth a great effort and you know it's just I always preach them it's the little things you know finishing around the hoop taking care of the ball boxing out and rebounding making our free throws all those fundamental little things that we're just falling a little short on but our kids are competing each and every day and, and like I told them last night after the a tough loss at trail we said you know you got another chance tomorrow so hopefully we come out today ready to play. One of the bright sides is, um, we know with Bellsville, not going to be kind of the same demon, so to speak, as Buckeye Trail uh, in terms of the physicality, that's for sure. Uh, this is a Bellsville team that you guys took on last year, I think in the same exact event. Um, but they have a little bit new of a look in terms of their roster this season. Yeah, you know, last year they played us great, and uh, it's always good to, you know, Bellsville's going to be well coached. They're going to play a 1-2-2 zone, which is going to make us, you know, have to shoot the ball from the perimeter um, and attack them. We're going to try to press a little bit today. But, yeah, Bellsville... Uh, they're, they do a great job and you know the battles of the IVC and the, and the physicality and stuff sometimes it's good just to get out of the IVC and play a, a, a non-league game you know. Certainly coach well uh, tell me a little bit since we've seen you guys with that TCC game you mentioned already with the Buckeye Trail 
but kind of a tough game. We're in that weird period between, uh, you know, December and then, or pardon me, Christmas, then we have New Year's, now we're on the back half of that. Uh, where do you feel your team is? We know it's been kind of hard in terms of finding the win column, but what have been some of the games been like and what have you guys talked about? Yeah, like I said before, you know, we've been preaching to our kids to do the fundamentals, the, the little things to win. And, and I think once they get that first win, you know, it's kind of like just breaking the ice. And I think that's, they played very, very hard all year. I'm so proud of the effort and the grit that they've shown. They've never given up. And I just hope today we, we can get on that win column with a, with a big win and for this tournament and for Braylon and, and for, for all that means for our community. Well, no pun intended there you say about uh, them getting in that wind calm. Could be a snowball effect, and it's starting to snow out there right now. Uh, tell me also, I guess, um, also with the second rendition of this tournament, you know, uh, we've, we've already talked about it during our pregame show, but how, what this means to the Connaughton Valley community, obviously with what happened just a short time ago for you guys, I know this means a lot. Yeah, this is a, is a great opportunity to showcase, you know, what a great facility we have and, uh, and a great community we have, and it's, it's the – tournament is for the community but it's also to remember Bray and this year we're going to take portions of the money and donate to Tuskegee Valley mm. which is very important to us so all the proceeds go to scholarships and go to families who've been in a tragedy um, in the area so that's what's the most important thing out of all of it is you know cherish life each and every day and I, me and the Novak family started this last year to remember Bray and all the great memories he's given our community and our kids. So, you know, this is a great event. We got some great games coming up, and each year we just try to get better and better at it. And like last year, we gave away four one thousand dollar scholarships to our students. So, that's just it's just a great all around event. I'm, I'm very proud that we could do that for him and his family. Definitely, Coach. Awesome, awesome stuff. Well, we hope you guys have a great turnout, and uh, we're very happy to be here. And good luck to the Rockets tonight. Thank you. Head coach Jeremy 84 of the Canton Valley Rockets. Stick around because we've got your starting lineups and we will wrap up the Wood Electric pregame show. Tip off is coming up next. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Jeff Wallach LLC is a family-owned and operated company proudly serving greater Northeast Ohio and surrounding communities for over 25 years. We specialize in vinyl siding, replacement windows and doors, gutters, downspouts, and much more. We provide quality service regardless of the size or scope of the project. Our crews are reliable, respectful, and mindful of a safe work environment. Jeff Wallach LLC is certified by the Better Business Bureau. Call today and discover how we can assist you in making your vision a reality. Cush Financial Group has been proudly serving the financial needs of local community members for over 35 years. The team at Cush Financial follows an industry-leading service model with the unique approach and fiduciary responsibilities associated with their board-certified financial planner. With over 75 years of combined experience, the advisors at Cush Financial Group are here to help you achieve your financial goals. Contact the office at 330-308-8700 or visit cushfinancial.com to schedule your free consultation today. Securities and investment advisory services offered through Independent Capital Company Incorporated, member FINRA, SIPC. Welcome back into Bowerston and the PAC Drilling Mobile Studio. It's the Connaughton Valley Classic, and it's in its second year. Big Z Sports back once again as Connaughton Valley holds this tournament, raising money for the scholarships for student athletes and, and students alike in the memory of the late Braylon Novak for Connaughton Valley School District. We'll move on now into our starting lineups for today. As Shannon Thomas, if you want to go ahead and start for the Connaughton Valley, or pardon me, for the visiting Bellsville. Oh, you have the Connaughton Valley one. Sorry, I'll start with the Bellsville Blue Devils Actually, instead. I, I don't even have none of the starters in front of me. Your, here. your starting freshman guard for Bellsville is double zero, Dylan Saffel. Then it is number one in the six foot one freshman, Asen McBride. Then you have number two. It is Kaysen Hoff. He is a 5'10 freshman. And believe it or not, we actually don't have a number 13 who is out there. So we had a miscommunication there. <laughs> Outside of that is number 34, Logan Taylor, the six foot two junior forward. As well underway, we're going to get to your Connaughton Valley starters here momentarily as the ball on the tip is knocked out of bounds and it will go Bellsville way. Yeah, starting for the Rockets, number 24, Camden Wright. He's a sophomore. 
Number 21, Brooks Bauer, he's a junior. Number 12, Jared Peterson, he's a junior. Number four, Gavin Haney, he's a sophomore. And I'm missing one. Oh, you say, Zach, put in mind this, which one you said. <laughs> yeah, I, I lost one there. I was trying to watch the action and lost all my starters here. <laughs> so we've got number 12 on there as well. Jared, Jared Peterson. Peterson, who's out there. Yeah, I got that one. Oh, well, we'll get to maybe, it. Maybe I said five. We apologize for a slight issue there on a delay. So now it will be Connaughton Valley ball. And bringing it up is Bowers. He looks to go to the right side, stops, picks up his dribble. He looks for an entry pass, finds Peterson on the right block, goes up, no good, grabs his own board. No, he knocks it into the hands of Haney, and they'll reset. So an offensive rebound to start here early for Peterson on that trip down. Ball moved right side. Bauer open three-point shot is buried. Zach Putnam's going to get the assist for Connaughton Valley, and Bauer puts them on the board first. Yeah, Bauer's one of those kids last year that could hit some three-pointers along with uh, Gallagher, who graduated. But they, they were able to knock down a lot of threes last year to have some early success. So I do apologize. Our roster, I said Jason Ram I did not say Jason Ramsey, the 5'6 freshman guard. He's listed as number 20 on the roster. He's actually number 13 for Bellsville. Bringing up now is Hoff. He'll try to finish off the left block. No good, but the follow-through is there for Logan Taylor as he hustled the court and did a good job putting Bellsville on the board. Yeah, and a young team like that, that's what you need out of these kids. you got to have a lot of hustle. So now Connaughton Valley will set up. Entry pass goes to Putnam nearly over his head. Right block, backs in the paint. He goes up and no good, but a foul is going to be called, and it looked like it would be on Taylor, number 34, for Bellsville. Yeah, Taylor going to pick up his first foul. So Putnam will step to the first Federal Community Bank free throw line. Shannon will sprinkle these in as we go. The Needenthal and company keys to the game for Connaughton Valley. As the first shot's no good for Putnam. For Connaughton Valley, you entered this game still looking for your first victory of the season. You're on your home court against a team to open up this classic that you beat last year. And you know, at least on paper, you should feel at least maybe your favorite in terms of the numbers game at least, as that one's no good. Haney grabs the offensive board, puts it up, no good. Peterson goes up, blocked. Haney again, mid-range, still no good. Rebound goes to Bellsville, and we're going to get a foul called, and it was the reach-in on Peterson. So for Connaughton Valley, it's keep your head and keep the momentum moving forward for them as they are still, again, looking for their first victory. But they have been able to uh, not give up on any fight so far this season. As for the Bellsville Blue Devils, they got their first win last night. So kind of the same for them. Keep that momentum rolling as the Blue Devils will look for victory number two, and they want some redemption from losing to Connaughton Valley last year, but it's not going to happen there as Haney plucks it away. He'll drive the lane. Pump fake off the glass and good. Yeah, nice job by Haney right there. Got the pick. Went down the court. Didn't want to go up because he thought he would get fouled, so he did a nice little pump fake. Got a clear shot. Here comes Bellsville. Taylor will finish in an and one opportunity upcoming. Yeah, and that's big right there because Peterson just picked up his second foul already. Peterson, if you remember, Shannon, I was actually with uh, Aaron Stump our last game that we did out here when they played TCC. Peterson got in some foul trouble off the bench too. He will sit, and coming into the game for the first time is Dylan Higginbotham for Connaughton Valley. We saw him in that matchup against TCC as the next the free throw is up and good for Taylor. He's got his team's five points on the board, and it's a tie ball game, 5-5. Five, five. Under six to go here in the first from the PAC Drilling Mobile Studio. Haney's going to drive. Floater in the lane is good. And he gives his team the lead once again. He makes his second bucket. That was a pretty... Bellsville and Taylor, he'll bring it up. Passes right side and a go-to McBride as they reset again. Ball to the right side to McBride. Now goes into the corner to the freshman in Ramsey. You could say freshman for a lot of these players out there, Shannon. Yeah, that's what I mean. Young team and these freshmen's got the opportunity to step up and get valuable minutes. Taylor with the nice drive again, and he'll finish in off the right block. Pretty move there for the six foot two junior forward. Yeah, Taylor's got the hot hand right now. Keep feeding him, and he's doing it right. He's going inside. He's not trying to do a lot of perimeter shooting. 7 7, tie ball game. Five minutes to go. Rockets get it in. Haney stops, goes out. Higginbotham mid range. That's going to be left well short. Rebound is going to be battle for it. It's going to go into the hands of Zach Putnam. So an offensive board. Now it's on the deck again. We're going to get a jump ball, and that possession arrow will favor Connaughton Valley. He yep. was locked up with Saffle. 
Yeah, Putnam kind of dribbled it off his own foot right there and ended up being a jump ball, but they get it back. I think it's Safel. I said that wrong. Putnam will inbound, goes all the way across court. Brooks Bauer, head fake, goes back out. Higginbotham, long two-point shots on the way, no good. Rebound's going to go into McBride for Bellsville. Tie up again, and it's going to do favor Bellsville. Yeah, McBride was able to get up and get that ball as soon as he brought it down, though. He was attacked by some rockets and the – Still worked out in the favor of the Blue Devils. Now a little bit of a trap there for Connaughton Valley, and losing his feet is going to be Hoff, and that's going to be a travel, and the ball will move over to Connaughton Valley. He tried to dribble in between that double team, and there was absolutely nowhere to go. Yeah, anytime you try to dribble through a double team, you're either going to get tripped or you're going to turn it over, and kind of did both. Well, it's one thing if you can get through a double team. The problem here is is when they're standing shoulder to shoulder. Bauer goes right side, entry pass. Now Higginbotham backs down his man and just too strong as Higginbotham scores for Connaughton Valley. Give the assist now to Camden Wright, who's on the court for the first time for the Rockets. A little bit of zone defense out of Connaughton Valley. Bellsville's three-point shot way off the mark. Rebound's going to go to Putnam. Now he's trapped, but he gets rid of it to Bauer. Bringing it up the court now. Bauer, nice find underneath to Cam Wright. And Connaughton Valley has opened things up a little bit more with their lead. Yeah, that's a nice job by Bauer right there to uh, see the open man over there. Nice little dish pass. Bauer nearly gets a steal as, again, it's that zoned kind of trap almost for the Rockets has given them some success, some success on defense. Inside, McBride, pump fake, goes back out, mid-range. No good in the putback, and guess who? It's Logan Taylor again. Yeah, Logan Taylor is having himself a nice game right now. His second rebound, his fourth make from the floor, and he has nine points. He has all of his team's points, in fact. Worked around on the top of the key. Bauer thought about a three. Instead, they'll just keep working it around. Haney now has it on the left side, putting him top. And right on the right, nothing there. Nearly walked with the ball after picking up his dribble. Nothing cold. Entry pass. Cam Wright, turn around mid-range, no good. Rebound goes into the hands of Connaughton Valley and Higginbotham, and he got fouled by Taylor. Yeah, Taylor did a nice job there. He kept his body off of him when they went up for the rebound. Thought he was going to get it for a push, but he pulled himself back. But then he went. Then he just went over top of him and fouled him. So stepping to the first Federal Community Bank free throw line, it is Higginbotham, the six foot one junior, as he'll knock his first one through. And that's Taylor's second foul already in the first quarter. And when you're scoring all the points for your team, you might want to rethink about the way you're playing some defense. That would be a real problem as Bellsville has not had any offensive production out of anybody else. Rebound there is going to be hauled in by Bellsville in the missed shot. It was McBride, but they're going to say he got shoved by Putnam as he crashed to the floor pretty hard. McBride's second rebound. 12-9 is the lead in favor of Connaughton Valley over the visiting Bellsville Blue Devils. And thanks for tuning in, and thanks to Novellus, WM Commercial Roofing, the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency, and Altman Hospital for today's broadcast. Again, we are kicking things off with the Connaughton Valley Classic with our game, and now we're going to get a moving screen there. And guess who that one's going to go on, Shannon? It's on Taylor. His third foul, and he is going to have to sit as Coach Snell will get off the bench. Caden Greathouse, a 5'5 freshman, and have to put down the height of Taylor, who is the biggest player on this roster. Something to update, by the way, for Bellsville. They have a six-foot senior, their only senior in Thorne Stoffel. He is sitting on the bench due to injury, not available tonight. Yeah, and when you're young like that, you, you have a senior leader. That, that'll, you know, makes for a long night. Cam Wright misses the mid-range. Hoff's going to grab the rebound for Bellsville. He's going to try to go in some tempo, and that will slow it down as he crosses the timeline, and they go left side to Great House. Ball makes its way to Ramsey, right side. And no lanes to pass in for the most part on the interior. Hoff's going to drive, lost his handle again. He'll give it off Great House. Bellsville just going to have to do a nice job and not turn it over. And they must, have, they must have heard me thinking my thoughts, and I jinxed them as they turned it over out of bounds. Hoff had the right idea as he slung it in to, to Saffel, or Saffel. I think I'm pronouncing that right, but it went off of his hands. So Connaughton Valley brings it up now after the turnover. Under two to go, 12 to nine. 
As they work it around the top of the key, Bauer's going to drive in. Pump fake, looks for somebody. Nobody there. Spin around, mid-range, off back iron, no good. Rebound, hold in by Bauer. Somehow that man ball made its way back to Bauer. I have no idea how this. He'll drive in off the right side of the box, and he had a nice shot there, the scoop shot kind of with the right hand. Puts Connaughton Valley up by five. Yeah, he did a nice little job right there getting into the lane and adjusted it. Another steal there. Cam Wright tries to finish. Off for an iron, no good. Zach putting him offensive board, and he'll put it up and in, and a timeout's going to get called here. We'll go ahead and take it with them as Connaughton Valley leads 16 to 9. Stick around with us. Do you hunt, fish, sow, or have a hobby that you would like to share with someone? Hi, this is Noah Sug with Brig Brothers Big Sisters, and we are faced with our biggest commitment in matching 56 littles with bigs. We will match a little with you that shares the same interests and enjoys the same things, so you can do what you enjoy and change the life of a little at the same time. To learn more, we ask you call 339-6916 or visit bigs4kids.com slash volunteer. Thank you. The certified public accountants at Needenthal & Company believe in the value of relationships. Needenthal & Company has been in business for over 50 years in your community, helping individuals and businesses grow. Needenthal & Company can help manage and prepare your payroll, plan your estate, and prepare your business and personal income taxes. Stop in to the Needenthal facility on North Wooster Avenue in Dover and become a valued client today. Welcome back to the PAC Drilling Mobile Studio. 16 to 9. Connaughton Valley leads over top of Bellsville. As we're going to have a timeout here with a little bit of an issue for Kaysen Hoff. I think got a cut or something on his hand, so I have to tape that up. And I do believe, Shannon, the rule does dictate they will give some time to the athletic trainers to get him taped up and not have to substitute him out. Yeah, they, they, they have a time limit on there, and if they can do it within a time limit, then they'll be fine to bring him in. And, and you really can't sit him down right now because your best player, Taylor, is sitting on the bench with three fouls, and you can't afford to lose him early in the game. Well, it's always hard, too, when you talk about limited roster sizes for some teams and what they have going on. In terms of, you know, just lower numbers makes things a lot more difficult in keeping guys out there, especially if they get into foul trouble or a situation like this. Because some other teams, you know, who have a little bit deeper bench, they just go ahead and give Hoff the rest now, somebody sub somebody in. That is not the case that Bellsville has at their disposal. So it looks like Hoff got all taped up there, and he'll come right back out again. Hoff, I think his primary ball handling hand is his right, so hopefully it doesn't affect him any. Not sure what happened in terms of that. Looked like a scratch or a cut of some kind. Ball's inbounded. 1.15 to go here in the first. 16-9. Connaughton Valley has the lead over Bellsville. Rockets looking for their first victory of the season, and they're looking to start off the Connaughton Valley Classic the right way as Hoff loses the handle. Putnam strips it away. Goes to Higginbotham. Goes back to Putnam, who puts it in off the glass. Nice job by Higginbotham right there to just kind of pick it up off the scoop. Just chucked it forward and... Nice little bucket. There's an assist for Higginbotham, his first. Hoff goes right to left, drives the lane. Up and no good, but a foul's going to get called. They're going to say he got pushed. So he'll step down to the first Federal Community Bank free throw line. Two shots upcoming, as that's the fourth team foul for Connaughton Valley. And it went on. Looks like Gavin Haney. His first. Hoff looking to get in the scoring column as his first one is up and good. Puts the lead back to an eight-point game now. Next one is on the way. That one's too long. Rebound. Hauled in, I thought, by Bellsville. Instead, it's Higginbotham who just ripped it away from him. Yeah, that was just a pure muscle rebound right there. So here come the Rockets. Putnam has it at the top of the key. Will drive right. Dump off. Haney underneath. A lot of contact. Can't finish through it. Own offensive board. Put up. A lot of contact again. Putnam offensive rebound. And now he'll put it in. My goodness, Shannon. He, he had multiple opportunities right there. Everybody just kind of watched the ball go up and come back down, and he was able to grab it a couple times. Putnam leads the Rockets with six. He also has four rebounds. Driving in, Hoff lost it, goes off to an open shooter for Bellsville who will miss in Saffle, and here comes Connaughton Valley again. Bauer 
floater off the fingertips, and he'll cash it in at the buzzer. Rockets will lead 22-10 against the Blue Devils. We'll have the second half, second quarter, I should say, coming up after this. This is Carly Mills. At First Federal Community Bank, our mission is to empower the financial well-being of our community one person at a time. Through integrity and quality, we earn the trust of our customers and exceed their expectations. First Federal Community Bank, investing in our community since 1898. Serving your banking needs in Dover, New Philadelphia, Eurexville, Sugar Creek, Berlin, and Mount Hope. First Federal Community Bank, member FDIC. PAC Drilling, a family-owned and operated company since 2005 in Bolivar, takes pride in being an economic oil and gas drilling company. PAC's objective is to contribute to American energy independence through profitable development, operation, and marketing of oil and natural gas wells. PAC also employs operating technicians to oversee each and every well drilled to maximize its productivity and longevity. Contact PAC Drilling at Pat drilling.com back for the second quarter of action here from Bowerston as we've got the Canton Valley Rockets leading 22 to 10 over the Bellsville Blue Devils coming out of this Cush Financial Group timeout opening game for the Canton Valley Classic in its second year and again what a great program a great thing that they put together out here in Canton Valley again in the memory of uh, Braylon Novak the late Canton Valley student as this raises money for some scholarships for Canaan Valley students as Hoff grabs the rebound and he's fouled. But, Shannon, it really is a great thing to see when a community comes together like this in such a positive way. Yeah, and, and I, I hear so many great stories about that young man, about how he could make anybody laugh and he could light up a classroom when he walked into it and his classmates all loved him and stuff. And what a great thing this community does, you know, to, to continue his legacy on, to help out, you know, classmates that are – we're graduating and, and classmates to come up, you know, down the road. So, again, we have the game going on today and two games tomorrow as it is going to be Brooks Bauer with the steal. Tries to finish in the lane, can't put it up and in, but he is fouled and will step to the free throw line. First steal of the game there for Bauer. And he'll step again to the first Federal Community Bank free throw line. Canaan Valley so far, Shannon. They've had plenty of opportunities to score. They've actually missed quite a few open shots thus far, and I know that's something that Coach Aidy cannot be uh, very happy about. No, and you're missing a lot of those little give-me shots, you know, nice little layups. Two or three layups have come off the front of the rim, and they just they got to get it up. Use the glass. There, there's nothing wrong with using the glass when they're shooting a layup. That one off back iron for Bauer, who hustles and grabs his own offensive board. Just an effort play there. And that ball knocked out of bounds. It will stay with Connaughton Valley. Just an effort play there for the 5'11 junior. you got to love to see that. Uh, one of the leaders of this Rockets team with no seniors, handful of juniors. We know Bauer has been said to be a leader on this team. He'll pump fake, goes up in the lane, and he can't get it to fall. Rebound goes to Hoff for Bellsville. He'll try to bring it up. Stolen away again almost as Bauer lost the handle. Now Putnam steals it, throws it back behind his back, and Bauer's going to go off the glass and good. Good hustle plays again for Connaughton Valley. Second steal of the game for Putnam. Yeah, right now the Rockets are just, just out hustling. You know, a very young Bellsville team, and there's another steal. Cam Wright jumps the lane, left side, off the glass and good. And it looks like we're going to have a whistle here and another timeout. Big Z Sports will return after this. Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has just what you're looking for, so your athlete has the best gear for the sports they play. Dumont's has a large apparel selection and can handle your customized screen printing as well as embroidery for your team or business. For sporting goods and for all your apparel needs, Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has everything you want to play and look your best. Welcome back into the Connaughton Valley Classic. It is the home Rockets who lead, or the host school Rockets, I should say, who lead 27-10 over the visiting Blue Devils. So Bellsville will bring it up. It is the freshman and Hoff. 
primary ball handler for Bellsville. Has had some turnover problems here <clears throat> as the Blue Devils have had as a team who go right from left on the screen. Connaughton Valley has it snuffed out, though, as Putnam goes over the top. Now he'll drive hard right, goes back, left side. Pump fake there for McBride, and he'll go back out to Hoff. Hoff drives, pulls up, tough angle shot. That one off back iron, and it's Higginbotham to grab the board for Connaughton Valley, who will work the ball up. Putnam has it, goes far right, Bauer. Jab step, tries to go in between the legs of Hoff, can't do it. He'll pick it up and throws it away, and Haney stepped on the baseline as he tried to save it. Bauer tried to go between the legs there, but Hoff was having none of it. So here comes Hoff. He'll stop at the top of the key and drive right and go back out. For Bellsville, Shannon, you know, again, getting their first win. And now oh, there's a block for Higginbotham. We'll get to that point in a minute. Gavin Haney, rebound, and will try to spin around behind his head, and he can't get it to fall. A little, a little 360 reverse layup action right there. I don't think Coach 80 was actually happy with the 360 <laughs> layup attempt. So Bellsville inbounds, 5.30 to go. Five and a half to go here. Again, if you have a chance to come on out this weekend and support this Connaughton Valley Classic, what a great thing that they put on, raise the scholarship funds, and also just some fun basketball. You know, six games, or pardon me, yeah, six games as Gavin Haney is going to get the steal and finish it off the glass again. He's got his sixth point, but not only that, Shannon, you know, there's not a lot of places left in terms of being able to have the six games over the weekend featuring 12 teams. It's really some of these matchups, you know, you're not going to normally see during a regular season. Yeah, and they do a nice job bringing in a variety of teams. It's hard, It was hard to, when they first started this, it was hard to get a lot of local teams because some of these schools are in contracts for two and three years at a time. So when those contracts start coming up, maybe they'll be able to get us a couple more local teams out here. But right now they do a nice job bringing in a variety Hoff went into McBride on the right block. He tried to put it up, but he was fouled. I would imagine it's going on Higginbotham. He was the closest player, and it is on him indeed. Again, Big Z Sports only with this one presentation today of, in today's game. We'll have two tomorrow as we feature Maslin taking on Lindsley, and we will also be featuring Garraway matching up against Martins Ferry and some substitutions out here on the floor as it will be great house to sit, and coming back in is Taylor after he had that early foul trouble. Still with three fouls, he's got to be careful here. Yeah, I mean, it's early in the second quarter yet, and you don't want to lose him for the game. Free throws were missed by McBride. He grabbed his own offensive board, could not get it back in, and it will bounce away and go into the hands of Connaughton Valley. Right to bring it down. His team leads big. Bauer goes right, and Connaughton Valley keeps it going around the paint, and there it's going to be stolen away by Taylor as Putnam tried the entry pass to right, but six foot two Taylor was not having any of that. Yeah, Taylor already making an impact after coming back into the game. His first steal. Now a drive on the inside. Still can't finish his CFL. Bauer with the rebound. He'll bring it up. Stops in the lane. Pulls up, and that is a nice soft touch there for Bauer, who has five this quarter. Hoff has it. He is swarmed by Bauer, and he'll find Saffel, who will go up off the glass. Too strong. Rebound goes into the hands of Higginbotham. Yeah, Saffel, the last one, he went up, went in the layup just down the court the last time. He went up soft, left it short. So this one, he put a little too much on it. Right, finds a cutting in the paint. Haney, who can't get it to fall. Taylor with another rebound for Bellsville. He has his third. 31 to 10, about three minutes to go here in the second. Entry pass to Taylor, and he'll have to go back out to the left side on the three-point line. Goes Hoff, top of the key. Still not a lot of penetration opportunities here for the Blue Devils. Hoff tries to make his own room. Mid-range, no good. Haney with the rebound for Connaughton Valley. That's his fourth board. Keep 
Rockets with some great ball movement as Wright will find Bauer, who was too long in the three-point shot. It was in the hands of McBride, but it was swatted away from behind by Higginbotham, so it will be Blue Devil ball. Yeah, the Blue Devils now got to go down here on offense, and they got to try to get something to work. Guys flashing to the hoop, find them in the paint. Get some, get some easy points right here. Try to end this second quarter on, the, on a high note. So it is a substitution here. As sitting will be Higginbotham into the game for the first time is Colton Hot, the junior. That is for the Rockets. Saffold picks up his dribble there, goes off to McBride, tries an entry pass, stolen away. Bauer down the court to right. Off the glass and two strong, no good. Rebound going to go to McBride for Bellsville. It's another one of those opportunities, Shannon, that they had the opportunity to cash in but just couldn't figure it out. And now we're going to get right as they're going to say he hacked Saffel across the arm. Yeah, the, Rocket, the Rockets might be up big, but their their shot percentage has got to be low. They, they've missed a lot of shots right here that Coach Addy is probably going to address at halftime. So it will be Bellsville to inbound the ball. And now we're going to get a and now we're going to get a turnover there as Taylor could not get it inbounded in time as none of his teammates were able to get open. So bringing it up will be Bauer again about 2 minutes to go here before halftime. Stops right side goes right corner to right. He'll go an entry pass. Hot off to Putnam, no good. Rebound goes to McBride. Some good defense that time around for Bellsville. Hot entry pass to McBride, still can't finish, and Hot grabs the rebound for the Rockets. If Bellsville, they've also missed a lot of opportunities inside. They've probably left at least 10 points. Scramble for it on the ground. Hot takes it away, and now McBride all over him. Battle for it, and it will go to Bauer. I got, that got a little aggressive quite, out there. Quite the, the scramble. <laughs> Haney is blocked from the side by Hot, and it's re or pardon me by McBride. Hot grabs the rebound. Left side, open three point shot for Putnam. No good. Taylor grabs the board for the Blue Devils. We picked it up a little bit here, uh, Shannon. Yeah, the, the pace has really picked up here, and it's really starting to wear out. And there's another steal. Another Bauer steal to Bauer, down the court, right, pump fake off the glass, no good, and a foul upcoming. By my count, Shannon, that is his third steal of the ballgame. Yeah. He does, he does a nice job getting all, all over the court. 56 seconds to go here in the second. 31 to 10 is your score. Right ready, and he'll put up the first one from the first Federal Community Bank free throw line and will cash in. Three points in this quarter as sitting will be Ramsey for Bellsville. Back in is Great House. Next one is good as well for Wright as he is perfect. And some substitutions out there on the court now for Connaughton Valley as it looks like coming in Nate Downing. A sophomore, also Caden Liggett, the freshman. I can't see the other number. It looks like Carson Milburn, another freshman. For both Liggett and Milburn, Shannon, they were on the JV squad. They apparently got some good minutes in their last game, and Coach Aidy wants to give them another shot here. Yeah, he. Uh, and that's what you got to do to build a program. Any, any opportunity you get to play those younger kids, you want to get them in and get varsity experience because the speed is a lot different. Hot grabbed the rebound, and he'll bring it up now for Connaughton Valley. Bellsville missed the shot. Liggett back out. Downing to the top, nearly stolen away there by McBride. Or, pardon me, Hoff, I should say. Entry pass nearly taken away again. Connaughton Valley still trying to work the ball in the interior. Not much there. Haney drives, puts it up, and he got fouled. And, oh, boy, Shannon, guess who that's going on? Yeah, and I can tell by his facial reaction. As soon as he did it, he, he called his own number, and Taylor's going to pick up number four. Once again, the right positioning just brought the arm up over the yep. top. We talked about that yesterday in the game. Can't yeah, you, do that. You just got to go straight up and bend your wrist a little bit. But if you bend the elbow, you're going to get called for it every time. For Haney, it goes all over the place but won't fall from the first Federal Community Bank free throw line. 
Taylor sits. Very brief rest for Ramsey as he'll come back in. Taylor now with four fouls. I'd imagine we won't be seeing him for a bit as the next one is good for Haney. Ball inbounded, five seconds to go. Big lead for Connaughton Valley. Hoff goes left, stops, step back, shot on the way, too long, no good. And that will do it for the first half of action from Bowerston. 34 to 10, Connaughton Valley's lead over Bellsville. Stick around because when we come back, we'll have a our brief halftime report brought to you by DAC Vitamins and Minerals. Talk a little bit about this first half and then move things right along to the second. The Rockets lead the Blue Devils 34 to 10, and we are back after this. The First National Bank of Denison appreciates the hard work and dedication area athletes exhibit to be the best they can be for their team. We follow that same philosophy with our customers, working hard to build personal relationships and making our services convenient. The First National Bank of Denison's community involvement is important to us and we love supporting our local schools. The First National Bank of Denison with offices in Denison, Dover, Janate and Hutton, South Broadway and Shun Brun in New Philadelphia. We have our roots where others have their branches. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. This is RJ Jacobs from DAC Vitamins and Minerals. Did you know that DAC Vitamins and Minerals has more than 40 proven equine supplements that include daily multivitamins, joint, digestion, reproduction and fertility, calming, and many other specialty products? DAC also carries a complete line of livestock products called DAC Show Contender. Feed DAC Vitamins and Minerals to get the competitive edge in the show pen. We've been feeding champions since 1983. Is your vehicle banged up? Do you want fast, professional service to get you back on the road? This is Garrett Jacobs with AutoWorks Collision Center. We service cars, trucks, SUVs, and even semi-trucks and RVs. Whether you need auto glass replacement, paintless dent repair, assistance with warranty and insurance, or just a free estimate, AutoWorks has you covered. We even offer alignments for your heavy-duty vehicles like buses, motorhomes, and semis with our state-of-the-art Hunter Alignment System. Call 330-878-4223. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Let AutoWorks of Strasburg work for you. Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They are the place to call for residential, commercial, and industrial work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. Welcome back to Bowerston and the Connaughton Valley Classic. As it is, 34-10, Connaughton Valley leads Bellsville, and you are locked into the DAC Vitamins and Minerals post-game or post -game show. I'm so used to saying that. Halftime report. As for the Rockets with the big lead that they have extended out to here in Shannon, you know, for them, they started emptying their bench here a little bit as they have things in the first half at least well in hand. We know still plenty of basketball to go here. But for them so far, they've had a huge night from Brooks Bauer. Yeah, Brooks Bauer is just, just one of those leaders, and he, he's just been all over the court defensively, offensively, getting steals, getting rebounds, and making the shots when he needs to. So far in this game, he has 12 points, four boards, three steals, and an assist as well. Some other good outputs and totals out there for Connaughton Valley. Gavin Haney, he's got seven points, six points by way of Zach Putnam. And you also have another six points by way of Cam Wright. Three points to Dylan Higginbotham. The rebounding battle has very much been in hand for Connaughton Valley as well. Their leading scorer by far and away is Logan Taylor, who has all but one of the points thus far. For Bellsville, he also has four rebounds. But unfortunately for Blue Devils fans, he also has four fouls after the first half. Yeah, and he got three of those fouls in the first quarter after scoring nine points in the first quarter. So since, since he got his third foul, they've only been able to pick up one point as a team, and, and somebody else is going to have to step up. I know you got a young team, but somewhere along the line, somebody else has got to finish to, uh, to help this team out because Taylor, he, he's not going to see much playing time probably in the third quarter, and if he does, he, he's going to be playing on eggshells because he can't even afford to reach in and try to tie up for a jump ball on a chance that he would grab a wrist and, and pick up his fifth foul. Yeah, absolutely. Limited bench available for Bellsville as well. So they're going to have to play things very, very careful here as we move forward to the second half. And looking forward to that second half for Connaughton Valley, well on their way, it would appear, at least right now, Shannon, to their 
first victory of the season, and we said with our Needenthal and company keys to the game, for them something that might be, you know, the key here is, for, you know, keep the momentum of some of the positives that you've had rolling, even though they hadn't found the win column. They had strung together some good performances offensively and were able to, at least when they come in here, it doesn't look like they've had the uh, residual effects after a very tough Buckeye Trail game last night. Yeah, and what a way to bounce back. You know, they, they might be a little bit deeper on their bench, and they might have a, a couple more, you know, returning lettermen that helps carry this Rockets team. But last night last night was a tough loss for them, and, and they played a very good Buckeye Trail team. And what a way to bounce back. You, you're talking not even 12 hours ago. I mean, that, that game last night probably ended around 8, 30, 9 o'clock, and, and they were back in this gym early this morning watching film and getting on the court. All the things you'll do for the love of the sport you play, right? Well, that will do it for our DAC Vitamins and Minerals Halftime Report. When we come back, we're going to start off the third quarter with Canaan Valley up big, 34-10. to 10. Might have a little something featured as well when we head to the third, qu third quarter, or in the third quarter, I should say. You are locked in to the Canaan Valley Classic, Big Z Sports, Classic Communications, and all of our sponsors will return after this. Are you neglecting your building's fifth wall? Did you know something as simple as a clogged drain can lead to a destructive roof leak? Protect your business assets with WM Commercial Roofing's Umbrella Care program. This program will provide you with regular maintenance surveys and repairs to extend the life of your roof. Invest in your business with our top quality materials, advanced techniques, and skilled craftsmanship. Are you ready for a reliable partnership? Visit our website, WMCommercialRoofing.com, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram to learn more. Novellus Eurexville is the world leader in aluminum recycling, and they need you. They have immediate openings for general laborers, equipment operators, and various skilled trade positions. They'll start you at $22 per hour or higher. There are advancement opportunities, and Novellus offers industry-leading benefits. To apply or find out more, go to novellus.com slash careers and search Eurexville. That's novellus.com slash careers and search Eurexville. Novellus is an equal opportunity employer. Hi, I'm Zach Moteis with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. Or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in downtown New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, or in Strasburg, providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes and teams good Altman luck this Altman is here for you, in your community, because you matter. We're proud to be the area's first and only independent health system. We are one team, joined together, and committed to one mission, to lead our community to improved health. And we've always been here, dedicated to providing you with the very best in care, wellness, education, insurance, and more. For your community and for your family, Altman is always here for you. TMK Valley Propane is embracing remote tank monitors. Are you tired of going outside to check your propane tank or forget to order your propane on time? TMK Valley Propane now provides reliable remote tank monitoring technology. Let TMK Valley Propane take the worry away, provide timely delivery, and never run out of propane again. Thank you for your trust in TMK Valley Propane. All the way with TMK, service with a personal touch. Hi, this is Jan McInturf. For the past 30 years, the residents in and around Tuscarawas County have made the call to the realtors and staff at McInturf Realty for buying and selling of residential and commercial properties. We truly live in a great community, and in all those communities, there is nothing better than high school basketball. For myself and all the agents and staff at McInturf Realty, we would like to wish all the area athletes good luck this season and make the call to McInturf Realty at 330-364-SOLD or find us online at McInturfRealty.net. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center, your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. 
Jeff Wallach LLC is a family-owned and operated company proudly serving greater Northeast Ohio and surrounding communities for over 25 years. We specialize in vinyl siding, replacement windows and doors, gutters, downspouts, and much more. We provide quality service regardless of the size or scope of the project. Our crews are reliable, respectful, and mindful of a safe work environment. Jeff Wallach LLC is certified by the Better Business Bureau. Call today and discover how we can assist you in making your vision a reality. Cush Financial Group has been proudly serving the financial needs of local community members for over 35 years. The team at Cush Financial follows an industry-leading service model with the unique approach and fiduciary responsibilities associated with their board-certified financial planner. With over 75 years of combined experience, the advisors at Cush Financial Group are here to help you achieve your financial goals. Contact the office at 330-308-8700 or visit cushfinancial.com to schedule your free consultation today. Securities and investment advisory services offered through Independent Capital Company Incorporated, member FINRA, SIPC. Do you hunt, fish, sew, or have a hobby that you would like to share with someone? Hi, this is Noah Sug with Brig Brothers Big Sisters, and we are faced with our biggest commitment in matching 56 littles with bigs. We will match a little with you that shares the same interests and enjoys the same things, so you can do what you enjoy and change the life of a little at the same time. To learn more, we ask you call 339-6916 or visit bigs4kids.com slash volunteer. Thank you. The certified public accountants at Needenthal & Company believe in the value of relationships. Needenthal & Company has been in business for over 50 years in your community, helping individuals and businesses grow. Needenthal & Company can help manage and prepare your payroll, plan your estate, and prepare your business and personal income taxes. Stop in to the Needenthal facility on North Wooster Avenue in Dover and become a valued client today. Welcome back to the Canaan Valley Classic as we'll get things underway here in the second half. Canaan Valley leads 34 to 10. It will be Bellsville ball. As Shannon, bad news. I think I dropped my pen again. <laughs> There's your pen. I got a couple extra ones. Oh, good. I'm losing everything, man. Entry pass there goes from Hoff off to Saffel, who can't get it to fall, and the rebound's going to go to Gavin Haney. It will be Bauer to bring it up. Again, he had a big first half for the Rockets. Kicks right side to right, looking for an entry pass. For the Rockets, too, Shannon, you know, it has to be a great feeling for them, all things considered, coming in here. This is one of those matchups with a team that they performed well against last year as Putnam hits the mid-range assist going to Bauer. It's one of those situations where, you know, clearly it seems as though Bellsville pretty overmatched in this. But, you know, whenever you're a team that has struggled all year long and has still not been able to accomplish a win, getting any kind of positive movement in the right direction is a big step up as Haiti's going to get called for the foul. Yeah, and I, if I remember right, this Bellsville team, they, they had a few seniors last year, so they, they lost a lot to graduation. And they, they was a very talented team last year. Even had a couple girls that played on their team due to the uh, not having a girls program, didn't have enough girls. And, and those girls were some solid basketball players that came in here and played with the likes of Bowers and Gallagher and them. And uh, now now they're just they're young and they, and they have to regroup. So anything that you can do in this second half to move forward would be, would be a big uh, plus. Hoff dribbles it off of his foot, and McBride will save it, though. Taylor back out there with those four fouls. They got to keep him on the court by far and away their leading scorer. They'll try an entry pass. Hoff goes to Taylor, goes back out. Three-point shot is on the way. No good. Rebound goes to right for the Rockets. Yeah, right did a nice job right there getting his box out and clearing out the lane. Extra pass for Connaughton Valley. Bauer pump fakes, and he got Taylor up in the air. And that's going to be all she wrote for the junior big man for Bellsville. And, that, and a lot of that is just because Taylor's expected to do so much and he's trying to be that leader, and he he bit on the pump fake. And maybe the Bellsville coach can go out there and talk to him. Maybe this could be like a poker game. He can he can buy, another, buy his way back <laughs> in. Can, can I get two more fouls because they're, they're dearly going to miss him in the second half. So great house returns in for the Blue Devils. 
Open three-point shot for Cam Wright is no good. Hoff grabs the rebound. He'll go down the court. It's McBride. He's got a man on him and off the glass and good. Nice, I, nice job by McBride right there. Kind of tailored to the center of the court. They threw the ball out in front of him. He went back over, got it, and laid it up. First points of this second half for McBride. Another entry pass snuffed out there by Bellsville, and that steal, I think it was Saffle who knocked it away. Shannon, it went in the hands of McBride, so some nice little momentum there for the Blue Devils. Yeah, the Blue Devils, positive things are happening here in the second half. You just got to continue to do things the right way. Hoff drives, goes back. Saffle, he'll stop and go back to Hoff on the left side. He'll drive baseline, stop at the left block. Tough angle shot, no good. Rebound nearly hauled in by McBride, but he will tip it off. And he'll go to Bauer, who goes down the court and threw it behind right. So another turnover. Cannot Valley a little sloppy to start off this second half. Yeah, that, that there kind of looked like a, a pass from the shortstop to first base. It had a little bit of mustard on it. Here comes Bellsville again. They'll bring it up, leading by 24. Five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Hoff drives with a scoop shot with his right hand, just can't get it to fall. Rebound hauled in by the Rockets. Putnam has it dropped. It's Hoff. He'll jump over him to go get the ball. Nice, nice hustle by both players right there. Bauer off to right. Baseline shot, no good. McBride hauls it in. They try to go to Great House. It knocks off of him and goes into the hands of Haney. So it will be Connaughton Valley ball. Yeah, McBride got that. And he, he just kind of tried to throw it out there without looking at first, and Great House wasn't paying attention, and it hit Great House in the back. Putnam drives, kicks right. Right thought about a three. They'll keep it around. Putnam now off to Bauer, left that well short. Over the head of the Bellsville rebounder. Goes into the hands of Wright, who will cash in on the mid-range. Yeah, that was, a, that was a long rebound. It, it took a bounce off the front of the rim, and it, it went, went clear back out to the foul line. So here comes Hoff to bring it up for Bellsville. He'll drive left side. Pass goes off to McBride, who will now find Great House. Great House will drive baseline. He'll try to put it up and just misses the rim, nearly gets the rebound, and this time it'll go into the hands of Ramsey. As we continue through this third quarter here, about 3.40 to go in the third. 38 to 12, the score. And we are now joined in by Athletic Director for the Connaughton Valley Rockets and Eddie Marsh. And Mr. Marsh, first and foremost, uh, got to say, so happy to be back here again. Well, thank you guys. It's been a while since I've been on the radio. Well, you're, 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 you're getting to do, I was yeah. going to say try something new, but not something new, right? Uh, we got to say, you know, it's always fun to come out here for these uh, this uh, Connaughton Valley Classic. But, you know, for you, kind of the first time at the helm of it, uh, tell me how's everything gone going into the planning all this? Well, fortunately, the great Jonathan Stuck laid out a good foundation of how they did things last year to, along with Coach Aidy on how to do run the Turn Day Tournament and um, raise money for the Novak Scholarship Fund. And uh, appreciate all you guys do with your coverage and all your hospitality and all the stuff you do year-round for all the sports in our area. And, Glad to have you, and glad to have a uh, fairly snow-free Saturday. And we're going to have four <laughs> good games today and three real good ones tomorrow. And Yeah, it's something that uh, we're going to look at maybe trying to add a girls' day in maybe next year on a different weekend or maybe a combination of boys and girls. But yeah, it's something that we've – second year here and uh, something we're going to try to continue to do. Certainly, as uh, we've got a Cush Financial Group timeout on the court and uh, something else – you know, I wanted to say with this, we saw how the Connaughton Valley community, you know, banded together last year with the first formation of this. Now we move into the second year. And it's really cool to see all the community members joining again uh, together in the memory of Braylon Novak. And I know for this Rockets community how important that is, you know, banding again together uh, in his memory and handing out the scholarship. So really awesome to see out here in Bowerston. I know you guys see that in the community all the time. It is. And ironically and kind of tragically our last IVC meeting you know we talked about the Tusky Valley situation and you know every school unfortunately at some time or another has gone through you lose a student or you lose community members or you have a tragic accident like Tusky Valley just went through but our communities in Tuscarawas and the surrounding counties are just awesome with how they rally around and support 
the people that have to go through that, the school system, the communities that have to go through that, they reach out and extend their helping hand, and it's it's just awesome. Yeah, it, it really is awesome. And looking ahead to the other games we got going on uh, the rest of today into tomorrow, too, uh, Shannon and I talked, you know, this is kind of an opportunity for some of these teams who might never play each other to kind of get a, a matchup in the middle of the season, which really can give you a different look, especially if you're a coach trying to get your team ready for maybe the tournaments that they wouldn't have had otherwise. So it's kind of a cool opportunity there, too. Yeah, I don't think Coshocton probably doesn't play a lot of OVAC schools, so getting a chance to play Wirt and Madonna. I know tomorrow we're looking forward to Maslin and Lindsley. Lindsley and Dover just tussled the other day. Maslin and Dover had a Donnie Brook out here last year. Then Garraway and Martins Ferry have some tournament history. And then Toronto and East Canton. Both talented squads, so and then we'll finish up tonight with Rittman and Tuss Law. So, yeah, teams that you probably wouldn't see during the regular season, but I got a chance to get a little different look out here. Yeah, and it's uh, always going to be a great time whenever we talk about high school basketball all throughout the weekend. But I know for you and for you guys out here, it's a long weekend. There's a lot that goes into putting this on. It is, but if you look around, the staff and the, the coaches we have and the school personnel and our support people are just great. And, and without them and without the Jonathan's organization and Coach 80's organization and, you know, the support from Superintendent Zuko and our principal, Mrs. Caldwell, and the whole group, the Board of Education, it's it's – it's a family event. It's a Connaught, it, it's a Connaught Valley Classic, but it's everybody. It's it's not just me. It's not just Jonathan. It's not just John, Coach Eighty, but our whole team of people that bring the whole thing together. Well, it, it shows. It shows all the effort that uh, goes into this. Just with a score update, Connaught Valley leading forty-two to twelve. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. As we got a tie up, and the possession arrow will favor. The Rockets, and you know, also for you guys, this basketball season been a little bit up and down. You know, Connaughton Valley's had their growing pains, but certainly well on their way to their first victory here. Kind of a cool thing whenever we consider uh, where it's going to be coming from. Whenever it's this uh, tournament that you guys host, so I know it's got to make the kids have a point of pride. I'm sure, and you guys too. It does, and this game for our boys team couldn't have come at a, a better <laughs> time. Not to diminish Bellsville, I know they're young. They only have seven on the roster. Five of them are freshmen. But, uh, yeah, this, this group has played hard. Um, they just, in three or four or five of our games, haven't been able to finish. You know, Malvern and Buckeye Trail, a notch above everybody else in the north half of the IVC. But, yeah, this is, a, this is maybe a stepping stone because we're getting a portion of our schedule where I think we can maybe string some wins together. So this is one where uh, the home team Rockets really needed a win today. You know, we always go around these facilities out here in Bowerston, and we – just cannot say enough about what this Connaughton Valley School District has done for the students and the community have done for the students in banding together. Just incredible facilities. And I got to say, I love basketball season. I'm very much looking forward to baseball and softball season two. With, uh, we drove in here, went past the baseball and softball fields. Kind of weird to see what the snow covered, but just thinking yeah. in just a couple months we'll be back out there, right? Yeah, well, these seasons fly by. I always say when football starts, it's the quickest 10 weeks of the of the school year and, and of the uh, sporting calendar. Yeah, we're fortunate to have the two turf fields that I became familiar with when I got out here in uh, early April last year. Probably saved us seven or eight games just from a standpoint where when you get that rain at 2 or 2.30 in the afternoon, you can still play because we have the turf fields, the turf football field. And then the Rocket Center facility with the, uh, the walking track for the community, the fitness room, the weight room. My bowling game's not getting any better, but maybe <laughs> if I keep working on it, it might improve a little bit. Well, if you ask your uh, coaching staff for both the girls and yes. boys bowling team, they're just Some saying you're not, you're not practicing enough. Yeah, that's, well, that's, that's true, what it is. too. So another score update, 45-12. to 12, as a couple more substitutions out there on the floor. A couple of freshmen in again in the game for Connaughton Valley. Real good to see that playing time that they can – Rack up here, uh, you know, looking ahead to the future seasons as well for you guys, you know, in the winter as we continue on with the bowling, with the basketball and the wrestling as well. You know, we wish the Rockets nothing but good luck, and, you know, I'm sure we'll be back again soon, but just wanted to bring you on here, give everybody a little talk about what's going on with Connaughton yeah. Valley, and just wanted to express our thanks. I appreciate it's awesome that. coming out and here. And thank, again, thanks to you guys and all the family at WTUZ for all you do for uh, high school athletics and all our student athletes. and. It's a pleasure having you out here, and we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow also. Definitely. Well, we, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you for the time. Yeah, Always Eddie, appreciate it. Eddie Marsh for the Connaughton Valley School District in the athletic department, the athletic director for these Rockets as we wind down the third quarter here with a 47-14 lead in favor of Connaughton Valley. Stick around. we got the fourth quarter upcoming after this. 
This is Carly Mills. At First Federal Community Bank, our mission is to empower the financial well-being of our community one person at a time. Through integrity and quality, we earn the trust of our customers and exceed their expectations. First Federal Community Bank, investing in our community since 1898. Serving your banking needs in Dover, New Philadelphia, Eurexville, Sugar Creek, Berlin, and Mount Hope. First Federal Community Bank, member FDIC. PAC Drilling, a family-owned and operated company since 2005 in Bolivar, takes pride in being an economic oil and gas drilling company. PAC's objective is to contribute to American energy independence through profitable development, operation, and marketing of oil and natural gas wells. PAC also employs operating technicians to oversee each and every well drilled to maximize its productivity and longevity. Contact PAC Drilling at packdrilling.com. Welcome back in. Final frame for this Connaughton Valley Bellsville showdown. Live from the PAC Drilling Mobile Studio. 47 to 14 is the Connaughton Valley lead. Coming out of a Cush Financial Group timeout. And Shannon, a big thank you, of course, catching up with Eddie Marsh for the athletic department out here in Connaughton Valley. They got a lot of pride in all the stuff and all the investments they've made in this community and uh, Rightfully so, because I feel like there is not a team out there who comes in here and isn't just in awe of how awesome this facility oh, is. And when you're just pulling in and you see the baseball and the softball field, that's the first thing you look at. And you're like, man, they got some nice facilities out here. And then you come into this Rocket Center. And it's got the bowling alley and the gym over there that the community is more, more than welcome to use and the walking track. It's, just, it's a beautiful place. It certainly is, as it will be McBride on the drive. Take that back. It is actually Saffle who will miss. My, my favorite room right now is the conference room behind us, thanks to Sammy Sue's Barbecue <laughs> for hooking us up with some food out here all weekend. Yeah, I know. We got. I, I keep smelling it wafting through here, and it's uh, it's something else. Hoff's going to get the big block there for Bellsville. Good play for him, his first block. Yeah, that, that smell of the pulled pork and mac and cheese is just killing me right now. We got, we've been trying to run in and out during timeouts to grab some. And uh, I do also have to give a big thank you, too, for out this, throughout this entire broadcast, who's been doing it for uh, Claxon Communications is none other than Casey Claxon himself and Natalie Holbrook for doing all of the stream stuff for us. And, Shannon, without them, there's no way we could do this, that's for certain. Yeah, they, they take this radio voice sometimes and make it, a, make it a TV voice, and they do a lot of nice work with the camera work, getting us into your living rooms and on your smartphones. Well, for both of us, it's probably good that uh, the – Live streaming capabilities that they have and that they do are good at keeping the action on the court and not showing you and I because we both have voices or faces for radio, right? Yes, we do. Uh, as, uh, that was a shot made there by Putnam last time down. Score goes up to 35, and I think, Shannon, 35 would make it the running clock. Yep, 35 is the running clock unless they can get it back under 30, and once it gets under 30, it will stop again. So we'll be Hoff, step back, three-point shot, too long. And Putnam grabs the rebound. I've got him down for six. He's had a nice game on the glass. Yeah. It's just an all-around great effort by the Connaught Valley Rockets today. Well, it's just like uh, Mr. Marsh said there about how this game, you know, could not come at a better time for Connaught Valley who have struggled this season. They've had some ups. They've had some downs. have not been able to get in the win column. And certainly they are on their way of doing that here today. As Haney went to go up, Hoff poked it away, but they're going to say he held the wrist. Yeah, Hoff had a hand down, and he got into him before he went up into his stance. And uh, that, that's his fourth foul right there. And, and he can't he, – he gets one more foul, and he'll be out of this game, and they'll be forced to play with four players. I think Connaughton Valley might be doing the pseudo calling off the dogs as Peterson, Wright, Putnam, Bauer, and Haney will all sit. So they will bring in – a lot of the junior varsity players and some of the guys who don't get to play in time off the bench for the varsity. Sophomore Nate Downing cashes in his first basket there off the inbound pass, which came from Milburn. Elzer to bring it up. Hoff will stop, step back behind the charity stripe, and he'll knock it down. Nice mid-range shot there. Good-looking jumper from Hoff. Yeah, Hoff did a nice job there. Faked the penetration inside. Got the defender to bite on it and pulled it back. Nice little nice little shot right there for him. 51-16, Connaughton Valley is the lead. About four and a half to go here in the fourth as Higginbotham will step into a mid-range way too long. Hoff will grab the rebound, his fourth. Also on top of this for the Rockets as well, you know, 
it, it is difficult whenever you deal with not being able to pick up a victory at certain points, but you know, there has been no lack of fight, and that's kind of what you're seeing here because Connaughton Valley, pretty much from the time this game tipped, they were all on the same page, and that's a good sign. Yeah, and a lot of times you don't like to call them losses. You kind of call them learning experiences, and they've learned a lot in a lot of those losses, and it shows in this game right here. Rebound went into the hands of Hot. As bringing it up will be Milburn, the freshman, off the JV squad, and Playing a little point for the varsity. I'm sure that's a good feeling for him. Entry pass. Nobody was home. And it will be Hoff with the steal now for Bellsville. Yeah, he did a great job. He looked inside, was hoping to hit Hickenbotham, but he uh, he just ran on through and didn't look for the pass. Hot is only listed, by the way. Well, he's listed at 5'10". Never mind. I was looking at the wrong one. I was going to say he's doing a great job off the bench with rebounding, but he is 5'10", which... Looking at the rest of these heights for the rest of the for Bellsville and for Canton Valley, not not exactly what I'd call short, not the standard average height for them. Higginbotham with an offensive board, he's got a couple. So if Canton Valley too, you know you're up big, and you know you might be thinking here, so we're going to have a, a legal screen there. You're thinking, you know, they might be calling off the dogs a little bit with uh, putting in some of the JV players, and you know maybe they'll play a little bit more lax, but. For the JV players coming in here, you know, this is a big game for this, big opportunity. They, they're they going to take the most of this, and they're going to try to score. Yeah, yeah, I mean, when you put these young kids in, some programs will be like, hey, we're not going to – I think we're going to get a timeout here from Bellsville. It is a Cush Financial Group timeout. We will keep it right here. Go ahead to your point, Shannon. Well, I was going to say, in some programs, when they put the younger kids in and they're up by so much, coaches don't like to run the score up, so they try to do the three guard and kill the time. Then, then all you do is force those young kids into bad habits of turning the ball over. If you're going to bring them in off the bench, let them play. Let them run your offense and prepare them for the future. It is 51 to 16, Canton Valley up on Bellsville. And again, I have to thank our sponsors for all our presenting sponsors for this entire winter season in Novellus, Altman Hospital, WM Commercial Roofing, and the Tuscarawas Insurance Insurance Agency as they're bringing you today's live stream. And they'll also be bringing you the two live streams that we have planned for Sunday. Again, as an update for your schedule, Maslin will meet up against McKin or sorry, Lindsley, not Maslin McKinley, my bad. Maslin will take on Lindsley in our first broadcast and the first game of Sunday. And then everything will get rounded out with Garraway matched up against Martins Ferry. We will have both of those contests live streamed on our YouTube channel. And if you have not done so to this point, be sure to uh, subscribe and turn on notifications. You get notified every time that we do go live, so you will never miss a moment of action. High school sports in Z country. And just like Joe asked uh, yesterday, Shannon, how much does that cost me to subscribe? It don't cost you anything. It's all free. Not bad. Not, not, not bad at all. Not a bad deal. So if you ever are on our social media pages and there's a comment on one of our live stream posts. With asking, a random link. <laughs> with a random link asking for credit card information. That is not us. That is a scammer trying to get your money. So just ignore it and move on about your business and go over to YouTube and search Big Z Sports. As a long three-point shot is nailed by Caden Greathouse, the freshman was about six-foot bat from the arc. Yeah, that was a nice shot by Caden right there. He squared up to the hoop, and nobody was really paying attention for him, and he launched it. A lot of cheers there from the Bellsville faithful. Makes it 51-19, to 19, so the running clock still active. Two-minute warning. Higginbotham knocks it away from Ramsey. Out of bounds, actually off the referee. Can't really tell. Snow maybe still falling around here, Shannon. Yeah, it actually looks like it might have cleared up, so that might be all we get for today. Might get a little bit of rain later today, you said, and the roads are kind of wet out there, so be careful when you're going over those bridges if you're out and about later. Certainly, you don't want that uh, rain to potentially... Be an issue if it potentially freezes. Greathouse thought about a three again. Now he'll hoist it up just a little bit too long. And it will be hauled in there by Hot again. He's got a lot of rebounds. Good game for him. I thought Greathouse just nailed another one there for a second. It looked on target just, just a little too hard off the backside of the rim. Hot loses it. It was actually knocked away by McBride. Still the running clock, so when they inbound, it'll be about a minute to go here. So for Connaughton Valley earning this victory tonight, Shannon, they had some contributions 
really from all over the place, but it feels like probably the leader, and no surprise here, he's one of the more senior leaders on the floor, was in Brooks Bauer. Yeah, Bauer is just he, – he's had a complete game today, not only, you know, doing everything on the court, but also doing it as a leader, and that's what you expect your upperclassmen to do. So we'll remain Connaughton Valley ball off of that inbound now. Hot will step back into a three-point shot and left it short. Downing saves it and goes off to Liggett. With just 30 seconds to go here, Rockets looking to just wind it down, maybe look for another open shot if they can. Again, these are all the – well, four of the five are all mostly JV players who are getting a chance to hone their skills more and get a little bit more varsity action. Always good for them, and it does look like maybe – Coach 80 will have them just kind of wind the clock out, Shannon. Yeah, they're, they're just going to dribble it around out here. And, and uh, the Blue Devils, they've also just kind of backed off and going to end this one here in about four seconds. So your final score this afternoon, 51-19. to 19. As Connaughton Valley will get their first victory of the season, and they'll down the Bellsville Blue Devils. Big time performances for a lot of the starters for Connaughton Valley, Shannon, and I know they got to feel good finally getting in that win column. Yeah, and hopefully that's the lead to some you know better things coming down the road. They just still got to clean up some of the little bunny shots that they missed and layups they missed early in this game, but they, they really took off late in the second quarter and, and started making everything come together. So again, your final score today, 51 to 19, as it will be. Connaughton Valley, as I mentioned, victorious for the first time this season. Stick around because when we come back, we will jump back in here and briefly bring you the Dumont Sporting Goods post-game show. Again, your final score, 51-19. It is Connaughton Valley victorious over Bellsville. We're back after this. Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has just what you're looking for, so your athlete has the best gear for the sports they play. Dumont's has a large apparel selection and can handle your customized screen printing as well as embroidery for your team or business. For sporting goods and for all your apparel needs, Dumont Sporting Goods in Dover and Canton has everything you want to play and look your best. The First National Bank of Denison appreciates the hard work and dedication area athletes exhibit to be the best they can be for their team. We follow that same philosophy with our customers, working hard to build personal relationships and making our services convenient. The First National Bank of Denison's community involvement is important to us and we love supporting our local schools. The First National Bank of Denison with offices in Denison, Dover, Janaton Hutton, South Broadway and Shunbrun in New Philadelphia. We have our roots where others have their branches. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Is your vehicle banged up? Do you want fast, professional service to get you back on the road? This is Garrett Jacobs with AutoWorks Collision Center. We service cars, trucks, SUVs, and even semi-trucks and RVs. Whether you need auto glass replacement, paintless dent repair, assistance with warranty and insurance, or just a free estimate, AutoWorks has you covered. We even offer alignments for your heavy-duty vehicles like buses, motorhomes, and semis with our state-of-the-art Hunter Alignment System. Call 330-878-4223. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Let AutoWorks of Strasburg work for you. Wood Electric has been trusted with all of your electrical needs for over 30 years. They are the place to call for residential, commercial, and industrial work. Wood Electric is available 24 hours a day and ready to help with any electrical problem, outage, or installation. Wood Electric, serving Tuscarawas County and beyond since 1988. Like Wood Electric on Facebook or find them online at woodelectric.net. Are you neglecting your building's fifth wall? Did you know something as simple as a clogged drain can lead to a destructive roof leak? Protect your business assets with WM Commercial Roofing's Umbrella Care Program. This program will provide you with regular maintenance surveys and repairs to extend the life of your roof. Invest in your business with our top quality materials, advanced techniques, and skilled craftsmanship. Are you ready for a reliable partnership? Visit our website, wmcommercialroofing.com, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram to learn more. Novellus Eurexville is the world leader in aluminum recycling, and they need you. 
They have immediate openings for general laborers, equipment operators, and various skilled trade positions. They'll start you at $22 per hour or higher. There are advancement opportunities, and Novellus offers industry-leading benefits. To apply or find out more, go to novellus.com slash careers and search Eurexville. That's novellus.com slash careers and search Eurexville. Novellus is an equal opportunity employer. Hi, I'm Zach Motzeis with the Tuscross Insurance Agency. For all your auto, home, farm, and business insurance, contact our team at the Tuscross Insurance Agency. Or stop in and see us at one of our three locations in downtown New Philadelphia, Sugar Creek, or in Strasburg. Providing excellent service to the Tuscross Valley since 1885. Everyone here at the Tuscross Insurance Agency would like to wish all area athletes and teams good luck this winter. Altman is here for you, in your community, because you matter. We're proud to be the area's first and only independent health system. We are one team, joined together, and committed to one mission, to lead our community to improved health. And we've always been here, dedicated to providing you with the very best in care, wellness, education, insurance, and more. For your community and for your family, Altman is always here for you. TMK Valley Propane is embracing remote tank monitors. Are you tired of going outside to check your propane tank or forget to order your propane on time? TMK Valley Propane now provides reliable remote tank monitoring technology. Let TMK Valley Propane take the worry away, provide timely delivery, and never run out of propane again. Thank you for your trust in TMK Valley Propane. All the way with TMK, service with a personal touch. Hi, this is Jan McInturf. For the past 30 years, the residents in and around Tuscarawas County have made the call to the realtors and staff at McInturf Realty for buying and selling of residential and commercial properties. We truly live in a great community, and in all those communities, there's nothing better than high school basketball. For myself and all the agents and staff at McInturf Realty, we would like to wish all the area athletes good luck this season. And make the call to McInturf Realty at 330-364-SOLD or find us online at McInturfRealty.net. In the rolling hills of Holmes County, we tend to do things a bit differently. At Kime, we're in the business of uncommon experiences, and we're here to care for your project like we care for our own. We believe that quality matters and want to help you get it right the first time because your project deserves it. So visit Kime Home Center, your source and destination for all things home, building, and woodworking. Kime, built on trust since 1911. Jeff Wallach LLC is a family-owned and operated company proudly serving greater Northeast Ohio and surrounding communities for over 25 years. We specialize in vinyl siding, replacement windows and doors, gutters, downspouts, and much more. We provide quality service regardless of the size or scope of the project. Our crews are reliable, respectful, and mindful of a safe work environment. Jeff Wallach LLC is certified by the Better Business Bureau. Call today and discover how we can assist you in making your vision a reality. Welcome back in for the final time today from the Rocket Center in the PAC Drilling Mobile Studio as it is Canaton Valley who picks up the victory over Bellsville. And joining us now is our McInturf Realty player of the game. Probably no surprise because you heard his name a lot throughout this evening. It is Brooks Bauer for the Canaton Valley Rockets. And Brooks, I know throughout this season it has been kind of a, uh, kind of a hard go for you guys still trying to get in that win column. Yeah. How good does it feel getting a victory today, though? Uh, I mean... It feels good, but ready for Tuesday. Ready for Tuesday, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, this is obviously a team you guys took on last year. They looked a little bit different. You guys look pretty different, too, in terms yeah. of who you had in that starting lineup. What was clicking for you guys on offense today? Uh, I think we were all just aggressive playing together, though. That's pretty much it. They played zone. Just kind of ran some plays every now and then, but just moving the ball and working together, honestly. Now, you finished uh, game-high 14 points, also hauled in five rebounds, four steals, too. You guys were really crashing the passing yeah. lanes. Was that something that was talked about before the game? Yeah, we wanted to be up and aggressive. Well, it worked out for you, that's for yeah. certain. Uh, looking forward, you said, and just for anybody who's listening or, or watching, I should say, and uh, isn't aware, what do you mean Tuesday? What are you looking forward to? 
I'm pretty sure we got Strasburg. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, that's I'm pretty what I heard. sure it is too. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, again, our McInturf Realty Player of the Game in the Canton Valley, 51 to 19 victory over Bellsville. It is the junior in Brooks Bauer. Brooks, big congratulations and good luck the rest of the season too. Thank you. That will pretty much do it for today's presentation. Again, a big thank you to our presenting sponsors, Novellus, WM Commercial Roofing, the Tuscarawas Insurance Agency, and Altman Hospital. For Shannon Thomas and the Claxon Communications crew of Casey Claxon and Natalie Holbrook, I'm Nick McWilliams. Stick around. We'll have more of the Connaughton Valley Classic upcoming tomorrow. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like and follow us on Facebook. Until next time, Z-Country. Thanks for watching this Claxon Communications production of High School Sports on the Big Z Sports YouTube channel. For the latest news and scores, follow Big Z Sports on Facebook, on Twitter at Big underscore Z Sports, and on Instagram. Don't miss any of the live stream coverage all season long by simply subscribing for free to Big Z Sports on our YouTube channel. For the best in high school sports coverage, there is only one Big Z Sports.